Something that I didn't really understand growing up in the United States is that there are multiple ways to determine the best team in a league of multiple teams. Right, just instead of having an actual, you know, playoff. Exactly. In in the U.S., basically every major league has a regular season, which feeds into a tournament, and the team that wins the tournament is the champion. That's the way that uh, American God told us to do it, right? Right. We put a lot of faith in a second smaller season that isn't really reflective of what the actual season was. And we're all okay with that. Yeah, I kind of love how arbitrary and unfair that is because that's how life is. In many European soccer leagues, they do something different where the champion of the league is obviously just the best team at the end of the season, you know? So the if you have a perfect record like the Patriots some years ago, they would be the champion. They also play a knockout style tournament but instead of tacking that on at the end of the season, they play those games intermittently throughout the season. So it's two separate things occurring simultaneously, and yet both could yield like an arguable champion. I feel like a lot of this is patronizing back to the United States. Like, we're going to take your postseason format. We're just going to do it on the side as an exhibition to show you how silly all of this is. Yeah, yeah. Which I don't mind at all. So this creates, like you mentioned, a very important situation where there are sort of two parallel timelines. One team composed of one roster of players will play some league games, you know, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. On Friday, they'll play what is basically a playoff game, and then they'll go right back to playing regular season games. All right. Busy week. That's fine, though. (laughs) Yeah, it's, it's probably a little less dense than I'm describing it. But this becomes an issue because no matter what, you know, even if you have two separate competitions going on simultaneously interwoven, time moves linearly and events accrue. Injuries, penalties, things like that, you need to work that into your system or you get in trouble. So, relevant. In the 1990-1991 Bundesliga season, so German football, like other competitions, they were having their their little Bundesliga season. And they were having the DFB Pokal, the the cup, the tournament that they play simultaneously. For the team in Cologne, Germany, FC Köln, which is hard to say for an English speaker, uh, so we're going to say Cologne from here on out, a player by the name of Frank Ordenowitz, nicknamed Oze, had accrued a bunch of yellow cards in tournament play, so in these intermittent playoff games. Okay. And late in the 1991 season, had accrued enough yellow cards that he was about to trigger a rule wherein if you have too many yellow cards in the tournament play, you are then suspended for the next tournament game. That makes sense so far. Yeah. yeah, Got it. Okay. Okay. So in the semifinal of this tournament, he realizes, oh shit, I've racked up too many yellow cards. I'm going to be suspended for the final, which is like a month in the future. Okay. However, in between the semifinal and the tournament, final are a bunch of regular Bundesliga league games. And if you get a red card, no matter the competition, you are suspended for the next game on your team's Hmm. schedule. Makes sense. Do you see where this is going? Yeah, we are running concurrent seasons. Okay, all right. So he goes to his coach and says, hey, man, if I just get myself booted from this game, then I can just serve my suspension later this week or next week instead of being suspended for this really exciting tournament final. And his coach, very famously in what has become a meme, says in his local German dialect, do it. Oh, say. So all involved are basically aware that they are manipulating this. They are gaming the system. As soon as this idea is seized upon, no one pauses. Like there's no dissenting voice here. They're just like absolutely break the system. As far as I can understand, that's basically the conversation of like, listen, there's it. there's a loophole. Let's exploit it. And I think yes. it's important that our main character here, um, Ordanovitz, Otze, is on the record as having been a guy who understands and respects the rules. And in fact, a couple years prior, he won the sportsmanship award because he called a handball on himself oh wow very golfery of him yeah (laughs) Yeah. so what's the difference then i I don't think there's a difference i think this is a guy who knows the rule book and regardless of the morals involved is going to play by the rules and the rules here say that if you get yourself kicked out of this game with a red card you're suspended the next game that happens to work in his favor so he's going to do it so we're not actually breaking a rule. He's he's actually following the letter of the law so intently that this is less about gamesmanship and more about like just good old German efficiency. <laughs> Something like I that. Mean, like he's okay. he's breaking an acute rule 
in service of following a chronic rule, if that makes sense. It's like the okay. local and the global. So the question arises then of how late in the game, this is like the 85th or 89th minute, how do you get yourself kicked out of the game? I mean, most of us would probably just try and get a little bit more aggressive, right? Yeah, let's truck somebody, but that's not working yeah. for him. And so what ends up doing the trick is this. This is during a dead ball, a stoppage in play. Just boof. That's what he, wait, <laughs> this is amazing. There's a moment where he's like, I've got to make this one count. I've really got to kind of show out on this. He raises his hands up as if he's angry or just indignant or something like that. He really sells it. That's a pretty classic asshole sports move is like, no yeah. one's playing sports now. I mean, they have another soccer ball. Probably. I would say it is ubiquitous across all sports, actually, that you just, at some point, you just get angry and you take the one thing that everyone needs for the sport to continue <laughs> and just try and like throw it at your parents in the stands. Everyone can understand no more, no more sports for the rest of you. <laughs> and this does the trick. He gets, he gets a red card. He gets kicked out of the game. And it seems like a great success until moments after the game, I think. He and the manager are interviewed and it basically comes out that they're like, yeah, we did it. We, he's going to get suspended in the next game, which, you know, is just a regular game. And he will get to play in the final, which actually ends up being a matchup against his former team. Great stuff. Except the Bundesliga catches wind of this happening and immediately is like, nope, we're changing the rule. You're suspended for the final. Oh. Not only does he not play in the final, Cologne loses to Werder Bremen, his former team, in penalty kicks. So they really could have used him. Oh, wow. So wait, why are they, why are they telling on themselves? That's my first reaction. I, I think they were feeling a little too proud. They got a yeah. little cocky. They were like, we found a loophole. And they forgot that basically any authority also wields the god hammer. And they can just be like, oh, well, we just changed the rules. Eat right. Shit. Yeah. Um, it seems like this was the perfect crime up until they immediately after committing said perfect crime, then publicly told everyone what they did as if it was like Scooby-Doo. If you walk into a bank and grab a stack of cash, you don't go to the bank teller and be like, hey, I'm doing a robbery, and then walk out, you gotta wait until- What's up, guys? Time. This was easy. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and linger for a second before I actually retreat. Yeah, that, that's painful. I, I, I was totally on board with all of this and very much had faith in the plan here until, yeah, until they actually telegraphed what they were doing. Is there any kind of like blowback in the reaction to Bundesliga's immediate correction of the rules? Because they didn't do anything wrong except admitting that they found the loophole. Yeah, you know, a lot of these things come down to the spirit of the rule. And I think we can all agree that finding a loophole is, you know, still not really honoring the sportsmanship of the game or whatever. I don't know. Dumb shit like that. You know, the, the league did what it had to do, but fans love this. This is still the, the thing the coach said to the player, just do it, has since become sort of a cultural thing and a rallying cry in the 30 years since then. It's painful to hear that they did this immediately after the game, because certainly it was unprompted. If he just leaves it alone, then years later, he's like lapping it up on a beach like he committed the bank heist. Mm -hmm. he just really, he, they really didn't need to tell everybody. Special thanks to DraftKings Sportsbook for partnering with us on this video. DraftKings Sportsbook is giving all new players a deposit bonus up to $1,000 with their first deposit. Just download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, check out everything they're offering like parlays and player props, then watch some more secret base videos while the games play out. Or watch the actual games and embrace the joy of in-game betting, it's totally your call. Um, I think at this point I don't think I'll ever fill out another bracket because I'll rather just do parlays and the in-game action is a lot more fun. So if you want to join me, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now, use promo code SECRETBASE, all one word, and they're just handing out deposit bonuses, like up to $1,000 in site credits. It's America's top rated sportsbook app, it's safe, secure, and reliable. You can deposit and withdraw your money at your convenience. If Sportsbook is not yet available in your state, don't forget about the DraftKings Fantasy app. They're offering millions of dollars in total prizes every week. Don't forget, use promo code SECRETBASE, that's us, you know us, you love us, you're hopefully subscribed to us, and if you're not, but you've made it this far in the video, I'm impressed.